guys, it's Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to a, another week of the WBE. I'm your coach of the Bristol City Blazekins, and we are facing off against... Dude, I should have... Every time I do this, dude. We're playing off against the Melbourne Rotoms and Cybertron himself. Um, I uh, actually... We actually prepared really early on this week for this team. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about this battle. We're gonna have a little mini refresher because I haven't actually looked at this team since this, uh, the beginning of this week. Uh, but uh, if you guys are hoping for another W from the Bristol City Blazekins and you're hyped for this week's match, hit the like button down below. It is greatly, really appreciated. I appreciate your face. Um, so let's jump straight to the team. We have uh, Real Steel the Sizzle, uh, Knock Off, Bullet Punch, Roost, U-Turn. I'm actually going to go over the EV spreads here as well, just so I can remind myself. Uh, with uh, 236 HP, 180 defense, and 92 in speed. Um, Impish Nature, so he's more of a physically defensive set. Uh, we then have Nifty. First time we're seeing Scrafty um, in this season. Uh, Nifty the Scrafty with Bulk Up, Drain Punch, Knock Off, and Raw. Uh, careful Intimidate with the Agwav Berry, which is a half berry. He's got a, a crazy spread. 252 HP, 92 attack, 132 spadef, a little bit of speed to creep, and uh, four in the defense. Uh, next, we have... Aquarius, the pre marine who has been doing absolutely nothing but the finest of work uh, this season so far. Rocking out with Moonblast, Sparkling Aria, Energy Ball, and Aqua Jet. Uh, Aqua Jet, even though a modest nature, still does like chunks of damage and uh, you know helps out with focus slash users and stuff like that. So that's why that's there. If you're wondering, uh, with 252 in attack, uh, special attack, sorry, 212 in speed and 44 in HP. With a metronome, because you know, we might just end up Moonblast, Moonblast, and Moonblast, and Moonblast. You know, like it might, it'll get stronger. Next. We have Pitch Little pitch Crossman with Photon, Gazer, Stealth, Rock, Moonlight, and Toxic. Bold Nature Leftovers, uh, and Pitch is rocking out with 252 HP, 196 Defense, and 60 Speed. Uh, and then we have Snoop, the Drumper, with Psych Up, Dragon Ball's Glare, and Roost, Modest, Berserk, and the Choppleberry. If we can get some Berserk boosts going, if we can make some hard reads, that'll be kind of sick. Um, He's looking, he's looking pretty tight. He's got 118 HP, 252 in attack, and 76 in speed. And most of these speed investments you're seeing are basically to creep some of like uh, Cybertron's team. Uh, and I'll be able to go over that once I look at the speed tiers. Like, what's what is? Let me have a look. So Drumper's like base 36, right? I think he's got those EVs in speed, like to kind of maybe. I think it was to outspeed Conk out there, but when, when it comes to damage calculating, I'll know exactly what it is. Uh, and there's stuff like you know Guzzlord as well, uh, and Marowak Alolan form, which we can potentially creep. Um, next, we have, uh, finally, we have a Labyrinth, the uh, Landorus, of course. Uh, choice Scarf the game with Hidden Power Fire, you turn Earth Power and Focus Blast at 12 HP, 244 speed, and 20, uh, 252 in special attack. So, yeah, that's the team. That's what we're rocking out with this week. Um, I'm running a little bit late, so I need to help um, Cybertron really, really quickly, but that's the team right there. Um, I, when I, as it goes for the, in, in regards to a draft analysis, things have been so busy. And again, I have been spending most of my downtime relaxing and chilling uh, because I want to take better care of myself and I don't want to um, force myself to do something that I don't really want to do because I, I, I don't really have much interest in doing a draft analysis. Uh, and I'm sorry if you guys really wanted to see that, but the best thing you can do really is just by clicking the link in the description to the WBE homepage and you can see my team um, and you can see my picks and you can see the rest of the, the, the team's picks if you would like to do that. So please check that out. I'm sorry I can't do a draft analysis video. I just, I don't feel like doing it. And the fact that I don't have the time and I'm trying to, you know, give more time to myself. That's, that's what's happening. So I, again, I'm sorry if you're disappointed in that. But uh, with that said, let's, uh, let's jump straight into the battle. All right, so we're here with your boy Cybertron. Ready to go. Oh. Oh. All right, let's do this. I got paint open. So let's, let's slam dunk this, let's go. All right, so my baby, he has Rotom, no. I can't believe you do this to me. All right, I'm straight up. Mm. Uh, I feel like I should just lead. I feel like I should just lead the Crosma, bro, and just get my rocks up, because I feel like that's gonna be so important. At the same time, at the same time, um, um same time, like, if I do have the Crosma out and he just overheats me, turn one. <laughs> I, I, I'm not trying to make like turn one reads, but that's gonna do a hell of a lot of damage. We do have opportunities to reheal though, so I think maybe getting rocks up is, is somewhat important, especially with the Salgor running around. So why don't we just I, I think I think I don't see a reason. I, I see plenty of reasons not to, but I'm just gonna do it anyways because I've had this sort of like Fuck it attitude during this like WB and it's been paying off for me. So I mean it's gonna eventually shoot me in the side. You know, shoot me. I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot eventually with this with this mindset. But at the same time, right? Um 
there's no way I can ever play perfectly every single time. So I'm just gonna go. And I, one thing I, I always regret about when I when I play when I play Pokemon, uh, especially in competitive Wi-Fi battles, is not going with my gut feeling, right? And like, if my gut feeling is just like, just go to Necrozma, get your rocks set up, boom. Because what does he have right now? I think it's um, it's just Rotom with Defog, right? And I remember when I used to run Rotom Heat myself. I used to hate running Rotom. He only has two Pokemon. Uh, he's, he's screwed up. I used to run only Rotom. Uh, I hate running Rotom for like rocks. To get rid of rocks, because I would lose 25%. I went all the way down, I forgot to, <laughs> no problem. Same leads, yeah. All right, so we led with Mamoswine. So I imagine, you know, we, we, ha we have to use the same leads. So, um, so we, him leading with, him leading with Mamoswine is actually really cool. Cause he's gonna, he's gonna get his own Stealth Rock set up, right? Uh, I don't think I have any removal, but I don't, but rocks don't really do a whole lot to my team. So I'm not really worried about that. He's free to get his rocks up. My rocks do more damage to his team than his rocks do to my team. So I think that's a really good trade. Um, I don't think I have anything. I'll have to, again, I'll have to calc it at some point, right? But like, I don't think there's a specific member of my team that can just bop this thing in one hit unless we like get a bulk up on Scrafty. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely glad with my gut feeling there because I, I don't think really that, uh, that Mamoswine can really do much of anything to like Necrozma. He's so bulky. Oh uh, yeah, Earthquake's doing 32 to 33. So like, if anything, um, you know, we take, the, we take the Earthquake. I could take another hit after that if I wanted to, because I'm just a Photon Gazer, dude. Like, just half of his health, dude. Photon Gazer just does half of his health. So, unless you, like, this is Jolly. I suppose if, if he's like a regular physical attacker and he's adamant, and he's adamant, Earthquake does 35 to 40, if he's Choice Banded, but then again, he's, if he's setting up rocks, Choice band is 51.9 to 61.7. So I need to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> he said GG, that was a tough game, dude. Okay, here we go. Real game, the real match. Okay, yeah, so we need to look out. He might um, be faking the rocks and be like, I'm gonna get some damage on you right now. With bold and my HP, I'm doing fat, dude. I'm doing fat damage. If he doesn't have, he is gonna have speed investments. I imagine he would, but I could outspeed if he has like what? Next to no EVs and speed. So he leads to Mamoswine. Photon Gazer does do half his health right now. Because what would his switch be? If he just straight up switched into slow, bro, that's great. Um, Kartana would be would be an issue. Well, actually, how much is no 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 Kartana would just no no he's not gonna just out, outward switch into Kartana right? Yeah, Photon Gazer does so much. I could just punch a hole right now, and I'm really tempted to do so. But I think rocks are gonna be really useful. I'm gonna get rocks up because I, I I've got my gut. Rotom is there. He's a pain. He's gonna, he's literally gonna do my head in. I love him to bits. You didn't hear that. I, I love him. He's the best. Rotom he is great, but he's. He's super annoying. Um, he's super annoying. So I don't want to. Um, I, I want to make sure rocks are up. Rocks are so important. I think, especially with pivots, like a Selgore. I don't know if a Selgore really runs U-turn. I feel like it does. Um, with pivots like a Selgore and Rotom, and they're both weak to rocks. I can really do some damage um, just by having stealth rocks up. And if he wants to get his rocks up, too, that's fine. If he stays in, I'll just vote on Gazer. He stealth rocks. I'm gonna photon gazer. Um, photon gazer is going to do a metric ass ton of damage to like a lot of his team. To be fair, um, I could also toxic predicting slowbro to come in. Um, I have moonlight and I'm fast in this thing. I just noticed as well. Did you see that? I was faster. So this is a bulky set. Um, so in that case, actually. So he's gonna have he's gonna have investments in his HP, right? So let's say he does have 252 HP. Photon Gazer's still doing 47. I'm gonna still Yeah, I'm still going for it. I think raw damage is, is a shout right now, honestly. 
If he wants to switch, go for it. Uh, I'm physically defensive, so I basically wall this thing. And if he is invested in HP, um, he, may, yeah, maybe, he might be adamant. Um, but he also could be, since it's a lead, more defensive or something like that. He's gonna have less. He's gonna, he's gonna have less kick in his damage on me. So if he does go to slow bro right now, boy, I was so close to clicking toxic. All right, okay. So slow bro comes out. There's a little bit. Um, let's get this mega slow bro out real quick. Mega Carmine is more than likely the set, right? So I'm toxicing it like outright. 100% just gonna just toxic this thing. If he wants to start setting up car mines, we have Drampa. That's what Drampa's for, right? If he wants to start setting them up on me, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm outspeed it. I'm just gonna psych up. And all your boosts are belong to me. Just don't miss it. Just don't miss the toxic. Just don't miss the toxic pitch. But in actuality, it wouldn't be that big of a deal either. Because if I do miss Toxic, I have to go for Toxic again. He gets more boosts and I can psych up. So what is Slowbro going to do? To Drampa, really? Like a Psyshock? Shock? Ooh. Yeah, so Psych Up Strap might not work if he's running Psyshock. Shock. It's like a plus six. Because that, that, that hits me on the physical side. So we have to be careful about that. Um, I wonder how many Psy Shocks we can take. He might have Ice Beam. Which would, be, which would be better than Psy Shock, to be honest with you. Uh, but Psy Shock, if he's at... What plus does he have to be at? Plus three is when it gets dangerous. So he Mega Evolves, of course. He may be carrying Rest. But that's fine if um, we can get the Psych Up off. Okay. Land Toxic. Brilliant. Wonderful. Uh, and here's he's gonna slack off. He's he's gonna he's gonna get he's gonna get the damage off real quick. Um, so what do I do right now? Because he doesn't have rest. He's got slack off. So imagine, I imagine his set is like slack off. You know, um, it's got to have, he's got to have scold, right? So scold's definitely there. Um, I feel like Psy Shock and then like Calm Mind, hundred percent. Um. His special de defense is pretty good. Uh, I can energy ball metronome this thing. So I don't know if he's going to start going for card mines. Um, I don't want to go straight into Drampa right now until he's got at least one boost, I think. This does. Uh, we have U turn on Sizzle, to be fair. It just. I don't know what. I don't know what move he's going to go for. I don't want to risk him going for Scold. I would want to go for the U-turn, but again, that that damage is negligible. It's not even that. What it's not even worth it. So I'm gonna go into Aquarius. See if he goes for a Calm Mind. He toxic back. Interesting. Okay, that's a little bit bad, especially since we have. If I had gone into Sizzle, dude. If I had gone into Sizzle, bro. Okay. Didn't expect him to be running this. Okay, so one energy ball from this this, this thing is going to do like 53.4 to 63.3. Um, but it's still going to take two. Um, and if I use Moonblast once, the Moonblast jumps to 50 to 60. So I actually still kill with two Moonblasts here. Um, so him reading the grass move, he could go into... He could go into Rotom. Um... I'm gonna, I think Moonblast is just like a solid like stab move to throw out right now. What should we do, Sizzle? So we're gonna Mega and then you turned. I was scared of him potentially scolding, uh, but that wouldn't have made sense. Actually, now I think about it, why would he just fire off a scold like that? I should have thought about that. Um, we could have gone into Sizzle. Um, if he was gonna set up Calm Minds, we could have Mega then you turned. That would have been smarter. That would have been so much smarter. Big on four, big on four. <clears throat> but we'll see what Cybertron wants to do now. I think possibly it's gonna be a hard switch into Rotom. But like I have rocks up, so that's that's like huge for us. I think a Moonblast, uh, more some Moonblast doing to Rotom. I don't think I, I, he could say in, say, say in and start setting up, but like the poison is going to eventually start really doing some damage. He stayed in. Okay, cool. So I got the I get the Moonblast off. How much damage does this do? 
Okay, so that's dead after... That's dead after um, a couple more of those, I think. So twice. So I, I, after once, it's now doing 50%. Um, and this is putting him down to, what, 75? If I gone for energy ball, we still wouldn't be in range to kill right now. So it doesn't make a difference. After he slacks off again here, he doesn't know I have the metronome, obviously. So this is going to start doing some really good damage shortly. Yes, my Moonblast is at 1 now, which does 50 to 60. If he wants to slack off then, we're doing about the same damage he's healing. Poison brings him down, Moonblast kills next time. If the poison damage is enough, which I imagine it will. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> Slowbro is like easily one of the like the, the scariest Pokemon on his team. So if we can, if we can nail this Pokemon out like right now, that'd be sick. Because he doesn't, he, he's obviously noticed. Oh, he's not Choice Specs, or he's not running Energy Ball, even though I am. Um, I wanted to go for a better rounded move because he's gonna withdraw. Now we have a we have the the boosted Moonblast against the Matmo Swine here. So this is a moot boosted. That might just kill. Not quite, but I do have Aqua Jet. So that's not a problem. I actually would rather just Aqua Jet this thing now and get him out of the way. Uh, it does mean that I lose my... Um, I do lose my, my Metronome boost. And I think after I Aqua Jet this Mamoswine and get the kill, I want to get out of here, I think. Because I want I still want Aquarius to be around. Might be wondering, wait, why did that do so much damage? Because yeah, it should have done 69 to 82, and it just did like what? I guess it did like 70 to, to 80 because he's already taken a little bit from rocks. Because I don't think he wants to switch into anything right now to take a moonblast. So I think he's just gonna sack this thing because he knows he's faster than me. Like I he may as well. Unless he's concerned I'm Choice Scarf, but I don't think that makes much sense for Aquarius to be Choice Scarf in this matchup. Because I don't really beat any speed Pokemon. I don't beat any Pokemon in speed tiers just by slapping the Choice Scarf and making it timid, you know? So I think... Aqu See, this is why Aqua Jet's really, really good here, because I may be modest, but Aqua Jet is 100% enough damage to take out this Mammoth Swine right here. Please stay in. Yeah, okay, so we Aqua Jet it. And we take down Mammoth Swine. Cool. So that's taken down. The poison's gonna do how much now? 41. So I do live Stealth Rocks. I do live Stealth Rocks. And I can definitely do damage to like Slowbro down the line. Um, so that's definitely worth. Unless he goes into Slowbro now. Because if he goes on a slow now, I'm temp I would be tempted to just energy ball. Because he knows I can't kill him, right? And to slow bro. Oh, he brings out Kartana. Okay, sick. Kartana can't touch Sizzle. Unless it, well, it could start sword stancing, I suppose. If it starts sword stancing, that could be really bad. Um, let's see. Sizzle. Okay, um... You turned us so much damage to this thing, it's ridiculous. Um, I don't really know who my switching is for this. I think it's just, I just go to, I just go to Sizzle, right? For this? I think I, I think I just go to Sizzle. Yeah, I think I just go Sizzle for this. I'm gonna get, get I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Sizzle out. Because uh, what, what's Kartana's, what's Kartana's, Kartana's like 109 speed. Okay, so it's fast as heck. Um, we can go into Sizzle. We can eat whatever attack it wants to throw at us. It's worth it. Sacred Swords, whatever. I think it's the plus two right now. Um, Sacred Swords gonna start doing like half my health. I don't know if going from the knockoff is smart because we, have, we don't know what Eichmann's got. I could have a Z move. 
We can Mega and U-turn into something else because he will be faster than me as well. So that's worth bearing in mind. He Leaf Bladed me. Okay. That's fine. That did nothing. Okay, so I'm not too worried about this. Um, I think I, I said I didn't want to. I didn't want to mega. Uh, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't want to mega. I didn't want to knock off. But now I do. It, it, it hasn't revealed li uh, life orb. I think it, knowing it has a Z move would be good knowledge. You know what? I'm gonna knock off. Knock off only does 20 to 24 percent if he's if he's holding a Z crystal or no item at all. If I change the item to I don't know. Normal berry. It does 30 to 36, so. It's got good defense. It's got really good defense. Its special defense is, is, is a laugh, though. It's ridiculous. But keeping Pre Marine around, I think, is important for Slowbro later on, potentially. Because in a 1v1, I still win. I think. I don't know what HP he's at. I don't remember what HP he's at. He's, he's like low, he's like high green, right? I think he's like, he's like high green. So, okay. So we mega, we knock off. Bada bing, bada boom. A premium again, I think even a premium is at 4 HP. Against a slow team like this, it's still. But the only Pokemon I think maybe it'd be useful against is still Slowbro. But like again, Slowbro is still one of the biggest threats on this team. I'm glad we got rid of Mammoth Swine though, because Mammoth Swine is definitely a uh, chunk. Big chunk boy. Can definitely output a lot of, a lot of damage very, very quickly and like a lot of damage. So. He withdrew Kartana. We're getting a free knockoff on something here. Okay. How much is that going to do to slow? I know he's got mad defenses, right? He's got to be physical wall, right? Does I think the U-turn kills from this range. I think you turn kills from this range. Because he's got a slack off, right? Yeah, it just kills. I thought it did. Okay, that's sick. A slow bro, slow bro is gone. So Primarina, um, I don't think we need Primarina, really. Um, but I can go into Lando T now and get a U-turn. Um, looking at his team, if I go to pitch, then he's just going to bring a Selgor out, right? It's like, what does a Selgor do to me if it's specs? Bug Buzz doesn't kill, but it does a low, low damage. Um, I'm gonna get the show psych up tech. I'm sad. Uh, I think Labyrinth is smart. I can just go for a U turn. I got like coverage. I can run HP fire for Kartana. So I get the pivot. I can, I can get the heat switch initiative here, but that's fine. Um, I don't have anything on this thing for, um, Landers, for the Rotom, unfortunately. But. Don't think that matters too much when we have got rocks up. Yeah, with rocks, I'm pretty sure like Landris can kill a Selgor. And we do outspeed. Let me get my um, calculator out on my phone real quick. So it's what, 152 multiplied by one and a half. 152 multiplied by 1.5. It's 228. Yes, yeah, so we outspeed Timid Aselgor. So we outspeed Timid Aselgor and we just HP fire it. it do, it's a roll, to be fair. It does 67 to 80. Uh, and Stealth Rocks are going to do 25%. Do -ba -do 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 -do. Okay. We're looking good. We've got some momentum here. He's got momentum switch here, though, because he obviously gets to choose what he wants to send out against Landorus. Um, 
I don't get. We, we have to just sit here and kind of see what he does. He won't go into Rotom, to be fair. He goes, that's, that is a bad decision, bro. I will HP fire you into the middle of next week. You're dead. You're straight up gone. You don't, he doesn't realize I'm choice scarfed. That's dead, bro. That is dead. He doesn't else. Dude, it's done. That's dead. That's just straight up dead. That's just gone, bro. That's I'm sorry. Not even a fire berry would save you in that situation. That's that's dead. Maybe not expecting me to be faster than him, trying to get some damage off, because he would have done a, a, a butt ton. And now he comes in a Rotom, obviously. Either he's going to defog or something. Um, and realistically, I don't necessarily have like a massive special defense wall. Um, but I don't think that, you know, Drampa is the wrong choice to go into this thing right, right now. Yeah, over, yeah, he's doing nothing to me. I go to Snoop right now. Snoop. Snoop has this. Chopper Berry is a fighting berry, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to Snoopy. What's up, boyo? You going to Volt Switch? He defogged. Okay, so that's okay. Um, we have to bear in mind, uh, Primarina just, just got used again because Asalgor could be very well, could very well be um, Focus Sashed and Aqua Depth may, may, may come in handy later. Um, against this thing, we don't really have much or anything you can do except for just to, you know, Dragon Pulse it and get damage off because it, it has no reliable recovery. Um, it's not got leftover, so I imagine it's got a half berry. He's gonna HP ice me. Oh, that did a lot! But that gave me my berserk. So. Ah, he's life orbed. So he's a great he's an aggro set. Honestly, mate. That's why we chose Berserk instead of uh Sap Sipper. That is exactly why. Because a plus one modest. Your drama's got crazy, dude. He's crazy. Okay, so Salgor is here. Uh, Drampa has outlived himself. There's no, I don't need to heed him for anything else right now. He he just booped that ro Rotom into the middle of next week. So if he predicts the switch or whatever, he just goes to Bug Buzz. That's smart. Okay. Huge plays. All right. So now. It's okay, so it's not it's not life orb. Okay, uh, it's not focus slash, sorry. So um if it's okay, so this is quite scary because it could have it could have in power fire. I need to get him into a range uh, where I can I can kill this thing. So if this is a cell gore, it's not specs, it's life orb. So let me change that. Life orb. And um bullet punch is 60.6 to 72.2. Um, we do have Nifty. I did make Nifty specially defensive, so we could opt to do that. Where is he? So Nifty's here. Focus Blast is 63. We could knock this thing off and do like a massive amount of damage. And then finish, finish up afterwards. So there's lo lo literally no reason for us not to. We just go Nifty. We have the Intimidate. Whatever. Uh, if we can get if we can get him to attack us enough, we can put him in range for Sizzle to bullet punch kill. So we should bear that in mind. I can knock this thing off. I know it gets sticky hold. But I still think. Oh, he switched out. Okay, so he's. Who's he going into? He went. Okay, oh, who's he going to? He's gonna go Conk Elder left. Okay, so he goes to Conk. I get the knockoff. Did it have an item? Roselli Berry. He was scared of a fairy move. Okay, so he's scared of Pre Marina doing something here. Um, so. Bulk up, maybe just go for like straight damage, may even go for knockoff here. Um, I want to go to pitch because pitch can just, like, as soon as we get into pitch, like he will destroy this thing. Um, so let's see, Necrozma against Conkledur. He's not our salt vest. A photon engager just kills. If he knocks me off, that does a lot of damage. We do outspeed it, but I don't know if I want to risk going. Ew, he's not burned. He's not burned. He doesn't have a flame orb. Knockoff will do 35.7 to 42.6. Um, hmm. This is actually kind of... We could lose this game just from these two Pokemon, so I'm, being, I'm trying to be very careful here. I don't know if I want to just throw Pitch out there 
but I might need Nifty later on for the Acelgor. Um, I think knockoff it would be a massive read from his part, but I don't think... Even if he gets plus one with a bulk up, Photon Gaze is still destroyed. So I actually pitch, I think, is still the strongest option here. Now that I know that he doesn't have, like, Z-Move or anything, it's just a Roselli Berry. The double switch, bro! He's mad. He That was a huge play. Okay, so a Selgor. It's Life Orbed, right? Bug Buzz doesn't kill me at this range. Unless it's modest. No, it doesn't kill. It literally, this, this set, it can't kill me. It literally cannot kill me. Photon Gazer doesn't kill. Hmm. Then we have it in range, and I can kill it with something. I can kill the... What do I have left on my team? This is... Yeah, this... What we can just do, we can just do switch, cycle switches to, to Scrafty. So I'm just going to Photon Gazer. Yeah, Bug Buzz doesn't kill. Unless he gets a, a crit. Okay, it doesn't kill. Jesus Christ, that was close, though. <laughs> he got definitely got a max roll out of that one. I'll tell you now. So Photon Gaze at it. I probably won't kill. Um, but that's definitely good damage. And um, honestly... I just go, I go Labyrinth here. I think. Oh, he could just HP Ice, but I don't know if that would kill me. If he does have HP Ice, he might have HP Fire. I'm gonna go to La I'm gonna Labyrinth because I don't think Labyrinth is that uh, that that useful to us right now. And one more attack from him, Life Orb's dead. Um, I outspeed a Selgor with Lander, so if he doesn't kill me, which I don't think he can, he has to either choose between HP Fire or HP Ice. So, if he has HP Ice. That kills me. So he made the hardest read right now to Sizzle or to Landorus. It was to Sizzle. There you go. So that was a 50-50 there. If he was gonna, if he had killed Landorus right there with HP Ice instead of Fire, then he would have had to go to Conch Elder. We switch into Scrafty and we just we just clean up. So that's it. That's basically it. Um, he's going to um, Ice Punch me here. I'm not going to play for Differential. I'm just going to go for my damage. Um, he obviously just Ice Punches me here. Um, but then I finish off with whoever I have left. So, oh, he just doesn't even have Ice Punch. He doesn't even have Ice Punch. It still did so much damage. Oh, the crit. Okay, fair. All right, sure. Mark Punch incoming. Bye. It surely got to Mark Punch me now. Does that kill? No. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. The crit almost put me in range. And that is the game. Oh, excuse me. Right there. Let's go. Let's go. Is that a 4-0? Oh, that's a 5-0. Oh. oh, my God. Okay. Guys, I don't mean to, like, gloat or anything, but we're on fire right now. We are literally just... We're 3-0 oh right now. That's crazy. Uh, I don't think I played the best in that match by any means. Um, but I think I did maybe when it like where it counted. So, wow. Your boy's doing all right. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Cybertron's channel, uh, linked in the description below, uh, as, you, as always, as my other opponents. Um, if you did enjoy, hit the like button. Um, I appreciate your face. Let's keep going, bro. Let's, let's just, just keep pushing it, see how far we can get this win streak going. I'm so stoked. Hope you guys are proud of me. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.